ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू स्वामी सेज द नॉलेज दट कम्स फ्रॉम द इंटेलेक्ट इज गेन्ड थ्रू द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द सेंसेस एंड द माइंड बट द एनलाइटनिंग नॉलेज फ्रॉम आत्मा इज एब्सल्यूट real and grants liberation bhagwan shri sach sai baba is our sat guru and leads us all on the path to highest wisdom he is a loka guru guru of masses and also vyakti guru guru of individuals so as part of his avataric mission he has started a magazine called sanatana saradhi through this magazine baba guides the sadhaks the devotees are able to gain insight into right knowledge through his divine discourses which are published in this magazine in addition to this when bhagwan baba calls devotees for interviews he gives them instruction through various examples and short stories he also individually guides them solves their problems and brings about transformation in their personalities there is a well known story about a naked sadhu of puttaparthi this sadhu observed silence and being lame went around in a palanquin pallaki completely naked at that time around the year 1941 swami was staying at subamma and karanam's house when this palanquin was brought in front of their house everyone was very curious to see swami's reaction bhagwan very calmly came out carrying a towel in his hand he gave it to the sadhu and told him since you stay naked all the time i assume that you have severed all your ties with society then why do you live in society why do you have disciples if you are greedy for fame why do you give the impression to others that you are desireless why on hearing this the sadhu was ashamed swami continued one who is engaged in namasmarana god will never keep him hungry go to some place and stay in solitude wherever you are i will provide you with food and shelter that's how swami corrected that naked sadhu Well, this had happened long ago. One day, Mother Isharma came to Bhagwan and said, "Swami, our small Puttaparthi village has no school. All the children have to walk many miles to get to school. I know you are an ocean of compassion, so please construct a school for these children here in Puttaparthi." Mother Isharma did not stop at this. she gave some land for the purpose which belonged to her and swami constructed a school jnana swarupa sai thus planted a small sapling of the tree of knowledge slowly the sapling grew into a huge tree a bigger school was established in puttaparthi a ladies college was started at anandpur and colleges were also established at puttaparthi whitefield jaipur and bhopal by and by sri satsai institute of higher learning was established on 22 november 1981 this is one and only university which has integrated value education with academics all this was made possible because bhagwan himself is wisdom personified he personally pays attention 
to each detail and ensures that all those who receive academic education also benefit from value education. Prior to this, Bhagavan Baba had established a Veda Parashala to teach Vedas to young children as a part of his mission to restore Vedic knowledge. In 1965, for the first time, he conducted the Upanayanam ceremony of over 400 boys and initiated them into Gayatri Mantra. He also taught them the holy Vedic Vakyas, Matru Veo Bhava, Pitru Deo Bhava, Mother is God, Father is God. A few years ago, Bhagavan Baba asked a devotee from Shimoga, Do you follow Sandhya Vandana regularly? Sandhya Vandana is chanting of Vedic mantra thrice a day. The devotee bent his head in shame because although he had been regular in it earlier. Recently, there had been a lapse on this part. Swami told him, doesn't matter. There's still time. But from now on, you must do it regularly. On returning home, the devotee started following Sanjha Vandana regularly. He also started performing Abhisheka on the Sivalingam at home. Formerly, a regular practice which had discontinued. In a few days, he noticed that the colorless Shivalingam was now seen as Suvarnalingam, a gold lingam, and he could also see Bhagwan's image in it. In this way, Bhagwan bestowed devotion and wisdom on his devotees. May he shower his blessings on all of us. He did not praise that a Sivalingam got itself transformed into Suvarnalingam, Golden Lingam. In the Varaha Purana, one of the epics, the glory of Bhagavad Gita has been described by Lord Krishna. The Gita is my Supreme Vidya. It is verily the form of Brahman. It is the eternal half syllable the dot on the Om, everlasting, the ineffable essence of the Spirit. Spoken by Krishna, consciousness and bliss incarnate. To Arjuna, it is the three Vedas, the ultimate bliss and full of knowledge of the Tattvas, the essentials. When Arjuna lost his courage on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself narrated Bhagavad Gita to motivate him. We are extremely fortunate that Bhagavan Sai Krishna, who is the Sanatana Saradi, is himself explaining the Bhagavad Gita to us. On 16 February 1958, Swami started a magazine named Sanatana Saradi. Sanatana means eternal, and Saradhi means charioteer. Just as Bhagavan Sri Krishna was the charioteer of Arjuna's chariot, Sai Krishna has incarnate today to establish such a dharma, shanti, prema, and ahimsa in each, everyone's consciousness. And he is the charioteer who is guiding us from within. Swami says, each one's heart is a dharmakshetra as well as a kurukshetra. It is a field where a man can redeem himself through his good karma. If he turns it into dharmakshetra, he can cross over the ocean of life easily, easily. If it becomes a dharmakshetra, he gets destroyed. The first sloka of Bhagavad Gita teaches the same thing in the Kurukshetra, which is Dharmakshetra. What are the Mamakaha? Mamakaha meaning mine and the Pandava, the sacred white skinned people doing there? That was a question put by 
Dhritarashtra, there in that uh, Kurukshetra battle. Well, Mahamakaha, meaning my, signifies the ego, selfishness, tamasic and rajasic qualities. Pandava signifies the white-skinned people imbued with sattva guna. All beings are involved in this battle. By God's grace, those who are stabilized in the sattva guna will achieve victory. They will always remain worthy of God's grace. This is what the Gita teaches us. This incident took place a few years ago well, Sri Panduranga Dikshit was an ardent devotee of Swami. His daughter, Josna, was studying for BA with Sanskrit as her subject. Swami asked her, what is the essence of Gita? She gave a correct answer based on the syllables. On hearing, based on the syllables and the syllabus, as well what is contained in Bhagavad Gita. On hearing it, Swami said, all this is true, but the essence of Gita is quite different. It is dharma. Dharma is not religion, but man's innate duty. Swami also says, the first word of Gita is dharma duty, and the last word is mama, my. So the entire Bhagavad Gita teaches about my duty, each one's duty. See how wonderfully he explained the essence of Gita in the simplest way ever possible. In the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord has spoken about avya bhichari bhakti. Avya bhichari bhakti. When a devotee's mind gets totally fixed on God and does not wander towards any object of the material world, the devotion is called avya bhichari bhakti. To such a devotee who has surrendered completely, God bestows Atma Jnana, the knowledge of the Self. During the Sridi Avatar, there were a few chosen devotees whom Sainad had graced with Atma Jnana. Among those were Mahal Sapati, Madhara Deshpande, Harshama, and Srimati Lakshmi by Kaparde. Mahal Sarapati was the priest of the Khandoba Mandir who led the life of a sannyasi. When Sai first came to Shirdi, Mahal Sarapati had welcomed him, saying, Avo Sai, Avo Sai, welcome God, and was the first one to be blessed with his darshan. First one. It is a well known fact that the sound of Krishna, Krishna, used to emanate from the hair of the Gopitas. Mother of Deshpande, Arshama, had achieved the same oneness with Sainar. Some devotees heard the words, Sainar Maharaj, with every breath of his, even while he was sleeping. Such a word, the sadhak, was blessed by Sainar with Atma Jnana, natural. Srimati Lakshmi Bhai Kaparde was just a housewife, but she served Sainath selflessly, and she also used to give food and shelter to poor, promising students. Sainath was very pleased with her meritorious seva, and he gave her the Guru Mantra, Raja Ram, Raja Ram. Besides, ten years after his Mahasamadhi, he blessed Lakshmi Bhai, with darshan, just prior to her death. The present Sri Satyasai avatar leads his devotees towards self-realization. The names of Grandfather, Kondama Razu, Srimati Subbamma, class teacher, Sri Mehabub Khan, come to mind. But there is one more devotee who stands out, is Indra Devi. She was born a Russian, worked in the United States, and had an Indian name. She was an excellent yoga teacher, Indra Devi. When Indra Devi came in contact with Swami, he increased the level of her 
spiritual knowledge along with yogic knowledge. He gave her a pearl rosary and a mantra for chanting. He not only materialized vibhuti for her, but also manifested akshaya vibhuti patra, a vessel which has an unending supply of vibhuti for her. And the ultimate gift of grace was that he blessed her with the power with which she could help people facing calamities. Here is the most extraordinary example, without doubt. She herself attained self-realization with Swami's blessings. Thank you for your time.